Brigadier Bonga Nikininda, the chief investigator in the case of soccer star Senzo Miyu's murder, has rejected allegations that the confessions made by Muzuga Okanela Sbia and Bongani Nganzi regarding the incident were invalid. During his testimony in the Pretoria High Court on Friday, Gininda reviewed the confessions and pointed out elements that were consistent with the circumstances of Miyu's murder. Nevertheless, he highlighted that Sibia had distorted some facts implicating individuals incorrectly. In a trial within a trial earlier this year, Judge Rata Mukhwatlin determined that both Sibia and Danzi had made their confessions voluntarily and without coercion, countering their earlier sessions. Gininda first disclosed details about these confessions in court in January through his affidavit. Gininda stated that both the suspects had pointed to Kedi Kumano, Mewa's girlfriend, as the orchestrator of the murder. Sibia even pinpointed the crime scene and illustrated how the murder was planned and executed from a hostel in Fos Loris. Sibia alleged in his confession that friends Marco Butelezi and Makimba Butelezi contacted him during the week of the murder while he was staying at the Fos Loris hostel to inform him about a job. When the two arrived later that day, Marco allegedly told him they had been hired by Kumalo to kill Meiwa. However, Gininda stated that police investigations revealed this claim was false as the two individuals named by Sibia had been imprisoned from 2013 to 2016 in Wazul-Natal. Gininda also pointed out that Sibia claimed that the perpetrators demanded cell phones and money when they entered the house or when Meiwa was shot. This statement was corroborated by witnesses inside the house who reported that the attackers made similar demands. Furthermore, Sibia referred to a white VW Polo supposedly used in the crime. Gininda clarified that police evidence identified the car as a silver polo, indicating that Sibia's description was largely accurate. Investigators linked the vehicle to the accused Fisobu Finduli by checking his ID number to identify cars registered under his name. Gininda further assessed Ndanzi's confession, which also matched the events that occurred at the crime scene. Ndanzi, a former mine worker, stated he was paid 45,000 rand for his part in the murder. According to the confession, while he and Mtobi Simnube were set to enter Kumano's house, Nduli was assigned as the driver and Sibia acted as a guard. Mtobuziseni Mapisa was supposed to remain outside as a backup. Gininda stressed that both confessions contained specific details that could not have been known to the investigating team beforehand and their statements were validated by evidence from the scene and other witnesses. The five accused men linked to Meiwa's murder which occurred a decade ago, have all pleaded not guilty. The trial is set to resume on Monday.